breathed the souls, breathed into Adam the souls of life, and he continuously, Allah continuously breathes into man, into little children, into babies in the womb, the souls of life, then every soul is a spark of God, the essence of God, the essence of Allah, his very self. And if that's the case, then we learn from there that indeed there is no difference between one human being and another human being. We are all the same. We are all the children of Allah. So, as I said in several speeches, after Pittsburgh and Christchurch and Sri Lanka, I said that it's such a shame, such a shame what's going on in our world. We're living in a world of darkness, in a world of fear. We don't know. It's not really a question of when, of, 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 of what will happen next, it's just a question of where and when. And as a people, as one people under Allah, we have to remain unified and we have to stand up and we have to call out the forces of evil which are, are, are right now in our world threatening the forces of good, threatening religion in its very self, name Allah, name God and all the religions together. I think that, um, I, I want to say that it's when I first stepped foot, when this Jewish man stepped foot in a mosque for the very first time, many members of the mosque came over to me afterwards and they asked me, how did it feel to be a guest inside our mosque? How did we treat you as a guest? Did we treat, did we treat our guests properly? Did we treat our guests well? And my answer was, strangely enough, frankly, I didn't feel like a guest at all. I felt like I came home. And that's how I always felt. I said that as a Jew, as a Jewish person who's for thousands of millennia has faced anti-Judaism, anti-Semitism, when there, it appeared throughout history during the Inquisitions, the pogroms, and the devastation of the Holocaust, and when it always appeared there was nowhere to run, I know today, and all Jews know, that there is a place to run. There's a Christian home to run. There's a Muslim home to run. There's a church to run to. There's a mosque to run to. And there in the churches and the mosques, the Jewish people will find sanctuary, safety, and security, and love. And that's what, that's what our prophet, peace be upon him, has always taught us. Love supersedes everything, and love will always prevail. We need to stand up for each other. All we have is ourselves. And we need to stay together for a long, long time. And as we said, at many of the, many of, of the grievance ceremonies, the vigils, that we have to stop coming together at times like this. We have to come together at nights like tonight, and days on Saturdays and Sundays, and at weddings, and at bar mitzvahs, and God forbid even at funerals, but we understand what funerals are about. These are the joyous occasions of life when we celebrate life, and we have to always continue to do this. God bless everybody. In the name of Allah, peace be upon everybody. Thank you. Thank you very much for your beautiful words. It was beautiful. At this time, I'd like to ask for, Christian, for the Christian representative,